A woman, right? Oh, go ahead. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Okay? A woman shall not wear that pertain to a man, right? No, I don't understand. I'm not going to get you tied me up, but I'm going to have to. No, 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 no. no, we no, have no. To, the it's people you, have to have understanding. Sister, you sister, he's a sister like you, okay. right? If I wear his pants, am I breaking God's laws? No, sir. If a woman wear his pants, is she breaking God's laws? Yes. You see, plain and simple it is. Those are people who are ready to repent. Get right. themselves together. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, you got something for me. Yeah, but you are, you've been saying that I'm not opportunity to say to you. I'm listening to you now, sister. Talk to me. I'm your brother. I'm listening to you. No, you're not. You are coming down on me. And Christ, Christ was gentle. Uh, sir, you, he was gentle, gentle, but you are not well, then, being gentle. You remember what I started with? If I love you. I said to you, you're not. No, he's a microphone, sister. You're, listen, I know listen, a mic. Listen, I know a mic. Listen, we want that people to hear what we say. Fine. Listen. If I love you, you remember the first statement I gave? I said, if I love you as a sister, if I see you in a hell, am I not going to show it to you? It's how you show it. Oh, that depends how you show it. Oh, that makes a difference. If you want to oh, call it, that's a difference. Okay, that's okay. Difference. Which way that I will, I will explain it to you will get it much better? Yeah, I say which way where I will explain it to you will get it more? You are like shouting and on top of your voice like you're trying to lower yourself down. If you're going to explain something to me, you're taking the scriptures to me, you take it to me simple, humble. Oh, I have to come to you humble. You are here now. Can you give me a sir? Can you give me a light? Give me a light. Give me a light. Give me a light. Give me a light. Okay, sister. Okay, sister. Okay, sister. Sister, 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 sister. Sometimes we talk out of emotion, right? But, but, no. Listen, you talk out of emotion. If it's what you just told me, what you just told me, what you just told me, what you just told me. What you just told me. If it's not in the Bible, you are lying. Yeah, you are. No, they say, oh, mama, but you told me that I have to be, come to you gentle. Christ was gentle. Yeah. Show me in the scripture where Christ was gentle. Show There's it to me. No, show it to me. Show they me. don't have to show you anything. Yeah, no. then they say, then they say, oh, mama, Sister, you know you say Christ, Christ talk with authority. For you to talk with authority, are you, are you, authority means that you talk yeah, with authority. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. No, you're not mad about the voice. Uh, the yeah, there was a short, there was a short, so you can understand what you're saying. So you take time out. Listen, listen, okay, listen, all right? I'm going to show you where it's not the mic. I'm going to show you that it's not the mic. Hold the mic. Sister. Right. Okay, okay. I'm going to show you it's not the mic. Sister, us winning the laws of pence to you. You as a repentant sister. Listen, listen, listen. You as a repentant sister. Which way are you gonna go? The right way. And if, if the right side this is the right way, right? Fine. The way to the okay. Fine. Listen, listen, listen. But I show it to you, not out of hatred. I, I show that. it to you out of love for my brother, my, my sister, right? right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. sometimes we want the love to be soft and tender. But listen, sister. If I see you, if, if I see you, I'm about to get hit by a car. What my reaction gonna be? I don't know. If you see anybody you love gonna get hit by a car, then your first reaction, reaction will be, will be quick. So if Christ come today, my reaction is right. What I just tell you, the way I just speak to you, am I right or wrong? But that alone will help you to do what? Get yourself together, sister. Don't listen to that. Yeah, yeah, listen. Don't listen to the loud voice. Put the loud voice in the side. Listen to the word of God. Because he's using me to win it to you for a reason, am I right or wrong? Okay. You think you're here by a coincidence? I know I'm not. Uh, Christ doesn't give a coincidence. I know. No, I'm saying here. You don't I stand here by a coincidence. You can't stand here because you, you want to know something, right? You want to know what we're about. Yeah. Guess what? By us, as the men of God, guess what? We're going to show you love. Give me Isaiah 58 in one. I'm going to show you. What I tell you is no different. Listen, listen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Listen to what? Cry aloud, spare not. Okay, listen to that. Christ, the Lord God tells us to cry aloud, spare not. Spare not. That means that spare not here, we don't care about feeling. God never cares about feeling. Whatever, you remember when he called Moses in the hill? Did he tell Moses, compromise with the people and come tell me? No, he said, Moses, when you're brought out here, I'm going to tell you what to tell the people. Am I right or wrong? So God, there is no compromise with God. You understand? 
But I'm just, I'm just talking to you general, sister. I'm not just saying you're saying that. But don't think I'm saying you're saying that. We just talk general. Go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You wonder why we loud? Because God commanded us. Read it again. You got a trumpet. Nobody have a trumpet here. Nobody have a trumpet. A trumpet is a loud instrument. So that man God going to sin is going to talk loud. Because that's what we commanded to do as the man of God. Yeah, but all I was using was the speaker to identify the people. Okay. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Uh -huh. And show my people their transgression. Give me, give me the mic. God said cry aloud. Show my people their transgression. What is transgression, by the way? What they're doing wrong. You the think transgression is what you do wrong. But let's see what the Bible says here. Because if God said cry aloud, spare not, tell my people their transgression. So it's a set of people out here that is God. God says, show them their transgressions. You understand? So now we're going to go to the word, their sin, what it mean? What is the transgression and sin? No, no, no. Go ahead, go. And the house of Jacob, their sin. You are from the house of Jacob. This is the house of Jacob. This is the house of Jacob. You know Jacob? Jacob have 12 sons and a daughter, right? So you are the descendant of the house, right? Go ahead. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Now let's go to uh, transgression, sin. What is sin? What is the transgression? The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Okay. So whosoever commits sin transgress God's law. So if you are a transgressor, you're breaking God's law. So God, as his people, his prophet, come out in Jamaica today, we're going to tell you what's wrong with our people. We are in a mix of sin, sister, believe it or not. That's why you see our communities like that. It's not a, this thing is designed, sister. It's not a condition. This is hell on earth. You know that. You know this is hell on earth. Because no man and a woman is supposed to live like this, the way our people live. You understand? Why, why are the master living in the big mansions? Why are you working for him? Guess what? Why, why we are here killing one another, the master is living legend. We have to know the difference. To stop killing one another, we have to see Christ within one another. Because when I see you as a sister, I see Christ in you. So if I see you, I see Christ in you, I'm going to tell you what's wrong. Because I know Christ will come. You understand? So, now let's go to the next, to the next thing. We bring the pens, right? You say that that's against God's laws, right? Remember, how long you been inside the churches? How long you been know that? That you, you can call yourself born again, right? Okay. Uh, uh, if you are born again, you remember when we read First John, they say, He that born of God, sin not. So these pastors in the church is supposed to teach us what? You are. What that you what that job is? To teach you the word. Have we been learning the word from these pastors? I can't judge our pastors. You cannot judge our pastors, right? Okay. Listen, pastor. Listen, 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 listen. We are not taking. No, we got to go to our pastor. Listen, do your pastor teach them? This is what. Why not? Better them don't teach the Old Testament. Old Testament, teach the Old Testament alone. God, in the boy Sabbath, in the boy Sabbath, in the Sabbath. Remember, listen to me. Listen carefully. Yes. If your pastor did not teach you that you are Israel, your pastor is not a teacher. I'm going to put that in the Bible. Give me Isaiah 86. If your pastor, when he opened his Bible, he's not telling his people that they are the Israelites. They have to turn back to God. They have to, he has to tell the people why they're in the mix of sin. Okay, if he does that, sister, those things are little. 
we can change. And I know that, so that's what But why are we not changing this system? No, you're just coming to me with it now. No, I'm saying that, but you've been inside the church for years. Yes, but guess what? You probably bring it across on a different understanding than what somebody who's brought across from. Right. You just mentioned, I'm not here by coincidence. Mm -hmm. So probably you bring it across in a more plain way or a more understanding way that somebody would understand. You yes. probably come across as something else. Or probably it's a scripture that was overlooked and not saying it was. Okay, let me show you something. Let me ask you a question. Do you celebrate the church? Does the church celebrate Christmas? No. Easter? No. But how about it just celebrate? They don't celebrate it. Except the Easter of Covenant. Feast of what? What about Mother's Day? Mother's Day this Sunday. No? You say what about Mother's Day? Let's just go to Mother's Day this Sunday. As a holy system, you're supposed to be a holy system, am I right? Because you said you converted, right? What is the feast that God gave us to keep? What's it mean? What book I need to know to know that what does God give me to worship Him? Yeah. Don't you remember that? What I know there is. I the Do you keep the Passover? I try. Do your, church, do your church teach about Passover? Yes. Do your church teach about the Sabbath? I just started going to that church, so I can't not pay. Teach about what? The Sabbath? The Sabbath, yes. I can't remember that. I don't remember. Those are the things to bring us back to Christ. Those are simple things. Those are little thoughts we have to no, turn back to. Right. You know so this Sabbath is on Saturday? Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Okay. I'm talking about dark. Friday is dark, the Saturday is dark. Yes, the beginning of the Saturday. You're not supposed to do anything on that. Which day is that day? Which day is that day? And that day, this is it. And that day, that day is supposed to be honored by what? No cooking, no buying, no selling. You're not supposed to walk to the church and go. No, sister, I'm telling you what that day. I'm just giving it to you as the scripture said. No buying, no selling, no cooking, right? What we got? What we got? No work. No work. Those four times, those four things you must have. But think about it. You know you're a Christian. You've been less than five years, less than five years. If Christ come today, for your five years being inside the church system, you understand? That you're supposed to know these basics. Those are basic things. That we're supposed to apply. Listen, 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 sister, listen. We're supposed to do these things. Yes, go ahead. This is this is for you, my son. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 9. That's the book of Proverbs, 28 chapter, and the ninth verse. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be abomination. God said, if you turn away from God's law, when we turn away from God's law, we decide to pray to the God, God said that your praying is not heard. Your prayer is that what? What is that? We don't know what he means. Book of Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turned away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. You know why these things are important? You know why? Because it's through the law God going to hurt your prayer. You know this what I'm saying to us? It's through the law. Let me show you something. Do we see what's to keep the law? Or are we not supposed to keep the law? Then why? Do we see what's to keep the law? Or are we not supposed to keep the law? Say it again. You have to keep the law in Christ. Am I right or wrong? So if you have to keep the law in Christ, if you've been inside the churches, me as a deacon, right? This is a bishop, right? So, him as a bishop, God hold him, I, I, because his job is, is more than my job as a deacon. Am I right? So, guess what? If I've been in, if I've been under him for five years, I don't know about fringes, golden and blue, I'm a woman, I don't know about pants, something won't get me. You know why? Because those are the basics to win you to the perfection. You understand? But if it's not teach you the basic to bring you to the perfection of Christ, are you a real preacher? Your pastor, if it's not go to the basic which you and build you up, I, I'm asking you, are he or you, bishop, whatever they call him, pastor or leader of whatever people he claim to be? He would not do anything. Okay, so you know that much. Give me a job of a 
of a bishop or a job of a pastor? What is his job? Like about the, what is his job? What is his job? As a as a leader, what is his job? He's a teacher people. Teacher people what? The word. The word of God. The Bible says what God says. Like in his commandment. Yeah. You understand this? Yes. Let me just one second. Read that Proverbs 28 verse real quick. I want to listen to this. The book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. A lot of our people cover their sins. We go from church to church, but for some reason, nobody celebrate Christmas. Nobody know who this is no more. Everybody lies. And this is what God is saying. Read it again. Proverbs 28 and 13. He that covereth his sins I want y'all to look around. Is this place prospering here? Is this place in prosperity? It's yes or no. No, it's not. Why? It really is. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. You know what it means to cover your sins? Make excuses for sin. We will listen to women say, oh, I'm Holy Ghost filled. What about that sister? You're dressed like a man. Oh. Because I'm cold, I dress like a man. Sister, you worship the white image of Jesus. Oh, because of this. Sister, this sister, the oak is because, because, because. And God says what? Well, look at He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. You will never prosper if you make excuses for sin. Read. But whoso confesses and forsake them shall have mercy. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for our people to be truthful with ourselves in Him. Lord, in repenting, I have been an idolater. I have been a liar. I have been a thief. That's what He wants to hear. I have worshipped the image of the beast all my life, but our people, no, I've never done that. That's why Jamaica's the way it is. That's why America's the way it is. That's why Haiti is the way it is. In an impoverished state. One more again. Joshua 1 and 8, watch this. I want you to listen good. Listen good so you can learn. Joshua 1 and 8. Is that what I want? Come on. The book of Joshua, the first chapter, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This is, listen good. The Bible says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You must meditate upon God's laws day and night. What? That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Why? For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. If you do that, God said you shall make your way prosperous. Look around. Look around. This is not prosperity. Because we have been in line we have lied from day one. That's why, watch this, put this back, put this back. Not one church can explain why this happened to us. I bet yours can, right? Not one church. If your minister has a theology degree, where do you get it from? The white man. Who has taught him to establish lies. That's why every Christian you ask them, why did this happen to us according to the Bible? Oh, I don't. <laughs> They've never been taught. We, we as a people have never been taught the Bible until today. Read it again. The book of Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. Then you shall have good success. Is this a success out here? Wherever we go, even in America, our people in the same condition, in a, in a hellish condition. This is not life. This is not living. This is hell on earth. Isaiah 5 and 13. I'm going to show you what hell is. I'm going to show you what captivity is. Come on. Book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Why is God's people in captivity? Because they have no knowledge. Because they have no knowledge. And when we come to bring you the knowledge, everyone's minister is so holy now. Their minister knows everything. Then the brother asks, but why are you like this? Why are you like that? Well, I don't know. That goes back to being deceitful and lying. We all came out of the church. We all confronted our pastors and 
say you have lied to us. You have taken our money and lied to us. And God will honor us for that. But, but those of you...
That's why Christ said you must be born again. To be born again means you must start over as a child. Uh, many adults go, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm smarter than God. That's how they are. These children, although they're in the midst of sin, they will repent and get the kingdom. You older ones who have refused, you will not get the kingdom. When God puts on the minds of America and Russia to shoot the missiles, Jamaica's going to be destroyed. Right. Listen good, I'm going to prove that. Give me Revelation 6, 14. Jamaica, Haiti, Puerto Rico, all these islands are going to be destroyed. If you stand around and tell lie after lie, you will die here in the city. Listen good. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, and verse 14. And the heavens departed as a scroll. The heavens departed as a scroll. What can make the heavens depart as a scroll? A nuclear bomb. They call it in school a mushroom cloud. You familiar with that? Very good. Read it again. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Watch this. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Every mountain and island is moved out of its place. What is Jamaica? What is Jamaica? An island. It's going to be moved out of its place. Everybody here is going to die if they don't repent. Let's get that some more. Second Peter uh, chapter 3, verse 8. Listen good, listen good. And all our people are out of order. If we want salvation, we must fall in line and be born again. The book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 8. But be love, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day. Watch this. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Many of us hear about the second coming of Christ, but we don't believe it. Because if, he, if we thought he was coming back tomorrow, there would be no sin. Understand that. There would be no sin. Come on. As some men count slackness. Watch this. But in his long suffering to us will not willing that any should perish. God is not willing that any of us should perish, man or woman of the Israelites. Listen. But that all should come to repentance. Uh -huh. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. The day of the Lord shall come as a thief. Meaning, you're not going to know when he comes. Watch this. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What does it mean the heavens shall pass away with a great noise? What does that mean? Boom! The great noise is an explosion. A big boom! You understand? Thermal nuclear war. Listen, read it again. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Watch this, watch this. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What has the ability to melt all these elements out here with fervent heat? Thermal nuclear war. Right. What are we reading from? The book of the Peters in the New Testament. Come on. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Everything you see, the Bible says, shall be burned up. Everything you see. You understand that, sister? You understand that? Read it again. Get it here. And chuck. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What will melt? The elements is like this. Metal. This is an element. Wood is an element. What has the ability to melt everything you see? A nuclear bomb. Nuclear fire. You think America and Russia made those missiles for no reason? Come on. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. What are the works that's going to be burnt up? The things that we know. Adultery. Our people that are in the midst of adultery shall be burned up. Our people that are in the midst of worshiping uh, false idols like this, white image of Jesus, the image of the beast, shall be burned up. Our people that are in the midst of lying shall be burned up. You understand? Our people that are in the midst of not observing God's laws shall be burned up. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. 
and subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.